Hey art lovers, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you this new rolling cart that I got from Michaels and I'm going to show you how I set it up and organize my paint supplies in it to make it a lot easier when I want to paint. I can just go, here we go, and everything will be beautifully organized. And again, it was only $30, so it was a great deal. Also, I'll link the rolling cart down below and my social media accounts, my Instagram, my TikTok, so make sure to go follow me on those platforms, both my personal and my business. Okay, okay, get into it. Alrighty, so here is the cart. It is the Lexington three-tier rolling cart, and I got it in black because, as you can see, black is my favorite color, okay? And I wear it all the time, and it's just better to have a neutral color in my opinion. So I'm gonna open it with a knife. And I need to be careful because, again, I'm clumsy. <sighs> oh my god, oh my god, I almost stabbed myself. I hope this isn't hard to put together because I already just had to put together those lights and I was struggling. Oh, this is heavy. Okay. I'll flip the box over. Oh, oh, oh. That just went on top of my phone. That just went on top of my phone. She's safe. She's safe. Okay. I think I'm going to back the camera up so you guys can see what I'm doing, okay? Oh, I almost broke that. All right, now I'm going to start building the cart. Okay, okay. These little shelves are kind of heavy when they're stacked together, but this is what it looks like. It's like a mesh grate thingamajig. It's kind of like, oh, it has grooves in it. I was like, is this messed up? Anyways, it's a nice matte black. Beautimus. The other parts on here, the wheels, the legs, all that jazz. And also at Michaels they have attachments that you can put on top, like they have a cover so you can make it like a desktop thing. Not like a whole desk obviously, but you can set stuff on top of it. But since I'm putting paint and paint brushes, they're gonna be sticking out all crazy. I do not need that. Ooh, we got wheels. A little, oh, a little baby tool. What is this called again? A wrench, I think. And the nails, the knobs, all the things. I don't know. Oh, oh. we have instructions. I should probably follow those. Okay, it's more like a this type of thing. Okay, based off the picture. So we're gonna set that, that's our base. I think you put this nail here. We're gonna try it. I don't really like to read directions. This is my issue also. It's a waste of my time, you know what I'm saying? And then I think you like put it through here. Oh yes, look at me go, figuring it out. I'll do the same thing on the other side so it's even. Just twist this little nail in here. I'll stick it through the hole. Great. I'm gonna do that. And I'm twisting the shorter side of this nail into this part so then the longer part can go through the hole over here. Then I'm going to twist one of these onto the nail to lock it in place. And then we can add the second tier. Oh my god, this is coming together so beautifully. Wow, so this is where we're at right now. You see, you see, and now I'm going to do the other side so I can put two poles there. And lock these nails into place. Wow, 
Oh. Oh my god, I thought I broke it. Look! Oh my god, she's a builder. So then, for this last layer, I put the shelves like this, and then it has these little toppers that have a screw in it. Okay, so yeah, now I'm screwing this part in, and I'm going to repeat on all the other sides. Oh my god, I built it! All right, last but not least, I gotta put on the wheels and then I'm gonna show you how I organize it with all of my painting supplies. Stay tuned. I don't know what that was. That accent, I don't know what that was, I'm so sorry. Alrighty, now it's all built. All the wheels are on it. It can roll. Okay. Now I'm going to take out all of my paint, which is a lot, and figure out how I want to organize this thing. Hopefully it's aesthetically pleasing, but let's be real, it's going to get real messy when I start painting anyways. But I would prefer to have this versus a million buckets like this that I have to dig through. So, here we go. This is my brush cleaner my dad got me, I think off Amazon, because he shops on Amazon constantly. So I'm going to put that at the top to remind myself to clean my brushes as soon as I finish. And I have a whole bunch of this Liquitex Basics acrylics. I paint in acrylic, by the way. And I have a, a whole bunch of these like cheaper ones. And I have some golden paints as well, but I don't, I have not taken care of these. Like these dry up here and then the caps don't go on properly. It's a bit infuriating, but I have to see another little bucket like this, which I'll probably keep on to here, but just organize it better. And I have my like more expensive paints in this and then my cheaper ones lined up. I have one of these. See, I have another one of these. I have a paint elsewhere too, but this is how my palettes get. I need to take this off. And I'll probably use this little container for now. Oh, and I have some Academy paint. More Windsor and Newton. I really like this brand. These are $10, which is way cheaper than getting Golden. And I think they work just as well. Okay. And Golden is a bit thicker. So you need like a mixing medium to use them to make it blend easier. But these blend perfectly fine without that. You see, I didn't treat these well. See, like they don't, I need to clean these off before I even attempt to put these in the basket because they're all like that, they look crusty. I use the more expensive paints uh, when I want to do detail work versus the cheaper paints for more background work so that you're not wasting a lot of product and having to replenish it constantly, you know? Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got money for that. Okay, so this is going to be annoying because I have a whole bunch of these. And I'm sure half of these could probably be thrown out because we've had them for a while. My sister also uses them. See, this is like kind of empty. So I'm just going to put those on the side that are pretty much gone. And I'm going to fill up the whole bottom rack with that. So I'm going to move the camera down so you can see me doing that. So now I'm going to organize these little babies. I'm going to try to color coordinate in a way. So I think I'm going to start... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do skin tones and then I'm going to do like the colors. And I should probably... I'm going to do this another time. Put like the paint swatches on the top. So then I don't have to worry about figuring out which one is which, you know? So we're going to do skin tones right over here. I also have a lot of the paints from Target. These are like $2 each one of these. Um, don't recommend only because that adds up pretty fast. You could just get the Liquitex and those are five bucks for the way bigger containers. See, look, but they do have pretty metallics if you wanna check out metallics. This is gonna be really helpful because I did not like the system before. Having to dig through buckets is really annoying. 
And then that's how a lot of paints gets wasted because like this is chunky at this point because I didn't even realize that was in there. We we'll start with the light pink and move into purples and all that stuff. I'm gonna put the yellow and orange tones together in the reds. And I'll definitely pan over everything so you can see up close how I organized it. Okay. Oh, here's my Liquitex Slow Dry Blending Medium. I haven't really used it that much, but I'll try it again. I didn't really care for it, but maybe I'm using it wrong. That's also a strong possibility. I'm gonna put that at the top. Oh, I also have these mini watercolors that are all spread out in this box. So I need, oh, I can use this little bucket and put them all in here. I'm sure I have more somewhere else, but these are those. I don't enjoy painting in watercolor. I've tried it. I had to do it in college for my costume design class. And it is very hard. So props to all the watercolor painters or artists in general, really. Because it takes a lot of patience that I do not possess. Okay. And then I have another golden paint. And then... This paint is from Target from a long time ago, and it's really thick. It's a mousse paint. Oh no, this is mouse. Oh. But it's really thick, and I don't really like it. So I'm gonna throw it out. I got it on sale anyway. I also use rulers a lot. Just, I've been trying to grid my paintings to make it easier. Don't know if I'm doing it properly, but I need to practice more anyway. And just to center pieces and make sure everything's aligned, you know? So, I definitely keep a lot of these on hand when I'm painting. I don't even know if half of these Sharpies work because I use them to outline something on one of my paintings and going over paint with Sharpie is super frustrating because then the pigment doesn't come out half the time and you're like going like a billion trillion times, which is why I have so many because they stopped working. Oh, and look how cute. This is from San Francisco. It's a cable car and it's a pencil sharpener. So cute. And I'm gonna get another one of those little buckets and put markers and pens in them. Or pencils, I don't need pens when I paint. I also have a bunch of erasers, so I'm gonna put that in another little bin of its own, or a little bucket, I mean. Another sharpener. Okay, now I'm gonna put the finishing touches on the cart and I'm gonna do a pan over so you can see everything up close and we are done. Alrighty, here's the finished cart. I have my paintbrushes there. I have some bigger ones there. Two mixing mediums. The watercolor paint. I have the erasers stacked up and the sharpeners in the corner. I have my brush cleaner tucked right there and I'm gonna get a new pack of pencils and Sharpies as well to put in there and fill it up. Then, down here on the second shelf, I have a ton of palettes, and I definitely need to clean a lot of them off. Then I have my Target paints here. Now they're a little bit lopsided and that's bugging me, but I will fix that. Then all these paints stacked up, my higher end paints. And then down below is my cheaper Michaels and Walmart paints that are about a dollar to two dollars each. And I have them color coordinated, skin color, darker tones. Then I have metallic and glitter there. Then from the lighter colors, yellow. And then I move to the greens at the end. So yeah, let me back up and show you the whole cart. Look, it's the most organized I've been. Love that for me. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video of me organizing my new rolling cart with all of my paint. If you want to shop some of my prints, I do surreal art and it's on vocaholicartshop.com. I'll have that link below as well as my Instagram pages and my TikTok accounts. So be sure to follow me there. Also comment down below what is your favorite medium to work with if you are an artist as well. I would love to know. If there's anything I should try or any brands, let a girl know, okay? Because I love to shop. 
Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel as well as my personal channel, Ariana Nicole. I'll be doing vlogs, hauls, all that jazz over there. And over here on the business page, obviously I'll be doing all things art. So definitely stay tuned, comment below what you'd like to see next from me, okay? Have a great day, everybody. Peace.